All right, guys, well, I'm back with my first official video for 704 gear. I posted a flashlight review of video back that I copied over from my 704 tactical channel. And I really appreciate you guys subscribing to this channel. And I want to make this a great viewer experience, just like I feel like I'm trying to make 704 tactical a great viewer experience. Over at 704 tactical, a lot of guys are always commenting on the videos about optics and firearms and firearm reviews that they want to see reviewed on the channel. And I want this to be very similar. Please send me your ideas ideas of what you want to see this channel turn into right now it is a jar of clay and we can mold it into whatever we want so i really want your input and thank you so much for coming over here also if something happens to 704 tactical because of the rash of deletion of of channels on youtube this is going to be a place where you can go to update you on where that firearm content will end up but this one is going to be focused on high value gear so enough talking about that let's start off with the cheapest of the cheap a dollar Ozark Trail knife from Walmart. And this may be too cheap for the channel, but let's start off with it and see, you know, kind of how this stuff goes and see what price points you guys really want me to focus on. But I thought this would be a cool thing because normally these guys are 387 at Walmart, just like all of the other Ozark Trail knives you can see right here. And they're actually pretty cool little EDC knives. Normally I pick these up and bring them to work because honestly people are always stealing the knives off my workbench and you know using them for things and forgetting to put them back or they'll I'll be cutting a box or it, uh, they get torn up really quick so it's nice to have like a three or four dollar folder but I thought it'd be cool to try out one of these Swiss Army knife copies so enough talking about it let's open it up and see what it actually is. So you guys can see these little Ozark trails are reasonably sharp so let's pop this guy out of the package so i've got it opened up and i've already actually been using one of these in and around the house i just when i see a deal for a dollar i grabbed a few of them just to try it out the blade itself comes i mean not not really too sharp at all to be honest with you but i did run the other one through a sharpener and it cleaned up all right comes with a pair of scissors which i mean again it's just like barely mediocre this thing is definitely worth the dollar price point, maybe the $2 price point, but not much more than that. This is something like, I don't know, I find myself like throwing in a car bag or something like that if you didn't feel like throwing a really good knife in there. It has a can opener and almost like a mini flathead screwdriver. And then it also has a bottle opener with a larger flathead screwdriver. And on this side, it's got a corkscrew, which I never use for anything. If you guys have some interesting uses for it, leave it in the comments below. I mean... <laughs> Not quite sure what I would use that for. And then it's got a Phillips head screwdriver. And this one is like really hard to get out. I can't seem to get it out. Now the other one came out really easily, but I don't feel like chipping my nail. So I don't know. doesn't have the tweezers, doesn't have the pliers, and it definitely copies the Swiss Army style. I think it's worth a dollar. Like if you just felt like having a beater knife to throw around or throw in a camp bag, um, you know, it'd be worth a dollar to, to grab it. I think Ozark Trail really nailed it with their folder knives. They didn't go too crazy. They didn't try to add a lot to them. And at that $4 price point or the $3.87 price point, I don't think you can go wrong. Um, overall, the centering is really nice on a lot of these. The handle feels good and they're reasonably sharp. They also just have a smooth open and operation. So these are pretty cool at the price point. I've even found these on sale for a dollar. So check out your Walmarts, especially when they're changing mods over. I think Walmart right now is about to change over some mods in the back, especially after Christmas and change some stuff around. So go check those out. You can find some really nice clearance deals i think i picked up some mossy oak knives for really cheap as well but i think that's you know the main point of this channel to show you guys deals on gear high value options and to talk about deal alerts and things like that but again this thing is a jar of clay and we can mold it how we want it also i started a patreon account for 704 tactical leave your comments below i don't know i don't want to ask for money but i feel like with the attacks on YouTube, I wanted to start a Patreon account. And right now, there's no tier system for um, videos or exclusive content or anything. I'm not even asking you guys to donate. Um, honestly, I started it because a lot of people have been mentioning it. And I feel like this allows me as a, as a backup to reach other viewers in case something happens with YouTube. So I'm trying to diversify and expand and see what's going to happen just to keep these channels alive. So I, I can't thank you enough for all of your support. I really appreciate everything, and if you guys have ideas for the Patreon or this channel, just leave them in the comments below. And like I said, I'm not asking for money right now. Um, everything is going good with the channel, and we've got some nice people helping us out, um, like Optics Planet and stuff. So, I just threw up that Patreon to see, you know, 
how things go in the future with YouTube. So thanks so much guys for watching and thanks for subscribing to my <laughs> sorry, thanks for subscribing to my new channel. Have a good one.